Charcoal Blessing. This part of the the member of the Church of the Firstborn. As Church of the Firstborn, this is the secret Brighamite cult that has taken over the conventional Mormon church since the death of Joseph Smith in 1847. Joseph Smith's church was essentially a very good church. However, Brighamite blood assassins took it over and they're still exerting their bloody footprints across the United States today. You recall Lori Fallow, Chad Daybell murdering their own children and spouses. Well, let's take a look what's going on in Utah County and all over the United States. I mean, the allegations that are, that are there are so outlandish and so crazy. Last week, Utah County Attorney David Levitt there held a press conference announcing he is not a child sex abuser, that he is not a cannibal, and that he is not a murderer. Well, this all stemmed from the Utah County Sheriff's Office announcing they are looking into ritualistic child sex abuse across Utah between the years of 1990 and 2010. We are now learning more about the man arrested and charged in Utah County on suspicion of ritualistic child sex abuse. Also his ties to Utah County Attorney David Levitt, who will not be allowed to prosecute the case. More, Adam. Kelly, there are a number of reasons why the Utah County Attorney's Office might have a conflict of interest. Not just because Levitt named himself as a suspect earlier this year. He's also given multiple statements about his relationship with David Hamblin and some of the alleged victims. Men and women allege David Hamblin used positions of power as a father, a therapist, a neighbor, and as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to ritualistically abuse children. He was arrested Wednesday morning, but investigators say he probably won't be the only one. I have nothing to hide. But that did not stop Utah County Attorney David Levitt from outing himself as a suspect in June and describing his relationship with Hamblin. I prosecuted the therapist in Jeff County for poaching a deer. He poached a deer to use for ritualistic purposes. This therapist was my elders quorum president in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He was my neighbor. I had a family connection. During that same press conference, Levitt described his accuser as tragically mentally ill. She's one of the same women who accused Hamblin and others. Shame on you for doing that. That's, it's uncalled for. And he said tragically mentally ill woman five times. To attack their, their mental health status as a way to discredit them, and it was clear that that's what he was doing. And that's, that's just not okay. There, there is no organized ring of abuse. It was, it was debunked more than 10 years ago. But watch and listen. More than two years before that press conference, Levitt sat down for a different interview and was asked if he thought ritualistic sex abuse was real. He went on to describe Hamblin and his own accuser, calling her a victim. Do I think that occurs? Yeah, I think it occurs. I know some victims of it. Yeah, they... they I know some victims of it. I, I was not in a position to prosecute it. Who was into Native American stuff and kill deer and get deer hearts and drink their blood and drink the deer's blood. Again. Let's hear that again. Get deer hearts and drink their blood and drink the deer's blood. At the time, Levitt was under investigation by Homeland Security. These clips are now evidence in that case.